today we're going to be talking about this Kodak Mini Digital Film Scanner I got from Amazon. It works amazing. I had a bunch of old films that I was given in these old timey film envelopes that came back in the 60s. These are from the 60s primarily. And so I got this unit and I can't say enough it's awesome. So simple, simple. You can either plug it into the wall or plug it into your computer, which is I often do. But today I'm going to use this. And then it comes with these international plugs. Manual, different applications for using this device. This is a cleaning tool to clean the lens. This is to plug it into your uh, television if you want to do that. So let's see, let's go over this really quick. So in the back you can either put a flash card, which I did. I've been using, instead of that, I've been using this right into my computer. So I can just do it that way. This is for your television. This, this little menu, guys, is a little confusing, but I'll go over it with you in a little bit here. This is to take the picture. These have multiple functions. This is your home base. You go back to the menu, basic menu right here. This is an action button. So this will flip the pictures, and it'll also change the... Um, brightness and other things when you're in the menu system. I'll show you a little bit. It's really pretty simple. These devices are to hold your, your different uh, types of slides. You can use it like this, you know, slide it in like that. These both open up like this. These little devices here, let me get it right away here. They open up like that. Pretty, pretty easy to use. And then these are different slide sizes. Here's your manual, pretty helpful. It's mostly in like seven different languages. You only need about that much. It's in English. This is to go to your computer or to your television. That's the cleaning guy. So that's it. Let's go over some of the slide ideas here. So here's a typical thing you might run into. Pictures from mom. This is from the 60s. And you'll get a various sizes like this where you can run into this problem with you'll have all these different sizes. These little guys are really difficult. This is more, more of a standard size. These big guys are difficult because they barely fit. I run into a problem with these. I end up having to cut these to make it work on this particular item. But nobody wants these slides. They were given to me so I can do whatever I want with them. This is a better size for this thing. And here's a typical black and white. So You'll have to delineate between black and whites, and you can do that on the menu in here if you want to make sure you got a, a black and white or a color. Um, so we'll go over that in a second. Let's get set up and we'll do that. All right, here we go. So let's turn the unit on here. Um, so let's see. So there's no card register because I'm not using the card. So here's your menu down here. Um, you can move through the menu like this. And let's go over some of the menu items really quick here. So this is just take a picture, straightforward. This is your gallery that will show you what's on your flashcard here or internal storage. There is some internal storage on here. And if I forget to tell you, if you get a, a signal on here that says that the card is full, that means you need to take the, the, the captured images that are on the small device and move them either onto card or onto your computer. This is format your card. This is the one I use. So I get to this point and then I hit OK and then it's going to send it to my computer. It'll pop up on your computer and then you can move them from wherever, wherever you want after that. This is language. This is film type. Now this is an important one right here. So let's go OK. So Black and white, slides, or negatives, color, basically. So that's those. So let's start with color. Hit OK. Now these, this is tricky here. This is different sizes. These are large, as in the camera will take, the scanner will take a large image, smaller and smaller yet. So like for these tiny guys, you would use this 100 over here, 110. But these guys, you gotta, you have to go as large as you can. So I'm mostly always on the 135. So push that. So it's ready to go. It's ready to take a picture. So let's go over here and take a look. So with, 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 the way these are set up, so I usually take these off. 
and they're set up like this to slide in here. So you can use one of these tools if you want to use a helper. Now see on this one here, it's not going to fit on that one. So I'm just going to do it this way. I'll just slide it in myself like so and adjust it as I need it. And then so it says this side up, right? Or this side up right there. So you slide it in and then you can move it around as you feel you need to like that. If it gets, then you want to move the next one. I can just reach in here and do it this way. So you get to like that point right there. Now, now let's say we want to change how bright it is. So let's go up to OK, and, it, and we can change any of these here. I usually work off just the bright part. Push it again. Now we've moved to these menus, or these buttons being part of that. So I can brighten or darken, like that. That's too dark, but about right there. Too much darkness hides too much de uh, definition. So I usually err on the side of bright rather than dark. So then you hit picture. Now it's ready. Picture taken. You can move these around if you want to get it higher or lower. Let's move on to the next one. So this one is like that. If you take it, you can always spin it later, but you can do it here by flipping it. I think you can. I guess you can't. No. Okay, so you just take it and then you ch you can flip it when you get into your, your computer. Take the picture and move on. Take the picture and move on. Okay, so that's how those are done. Those are pretty simple. Now, let's get to some trickier ones. Something like this. So this is huge. So I'm going to slide these in by hand. I find doing this by hand and then I use this cleaning tool to, a to arrange. Right, so to move it into where I want it. And then I can go here. Let's check the brightness. Nope. No, about, about there, I think. And take the picture. So that's how that one works. Now let's go to a black and white. Now when you true, uh, put a black and white negative in, when it's in the color setting, it'll look like this. It'll turn, well, it didn't turn yellow. Usually it'll turn yellow on you. If it does turn yellow, that means you're going to have to go in and change it. Apparently, I'm not going to have to change it. This particular, this particular slide is going to take it without, without me switching it. So that's good. Probably right there. So, But if you put one of these in and it turns like that, yellow, that means you're going to have to go and change it to, to black and white. Now let's get to something more challenging. So here's another little guy. I'll just slide it in and manipulate it with this cleaning tool here, like that. Take some finessing. You might find a different tool that works better for you, but um, that's what I've been using. Okay, so that's done. So now let's move on to one of these more challenging guys, these little guys here. So you can use one of these devices to hold it and then we'll take the smaller of the holders put it in there and then back in here so we can slide these through now we're not seeing nothing now are we hmm. make sure we have an image So I don't know what that means. It could be that it's too far away. So let's try this. Let's try taking a different one. And let's do it manually. This is what I usually do anyway. I slide them in manually like this. So you see how small it is. So now we need to go up here to settings. And we need to go over to film type. And we got to go, we're in color already. Let's slide over here to 110. And the OK is the action button. See, now we've blown it up to a size we can actually see. And then you can play with the brightness. Be great about there. And so that's how I do these smaller. 
these smaller pieces. Just do it by hand. Let's do this one here. This is going to be one of those toughies. All right, so now we got to go back to the menu. We need to go over to film. We need to change it to, this is going to be color, I think. So stay color. Now we're going to go all the way over to 135. And this is still going to be too big. Probably. Oh, wait, we already looked at this one, huh? All right, so you see how this is a full portrait, but luckily on this one, they're all kind of in the center, so we can kind of cheat. But if you want to get like the full picture, you're going to have to do some cutting. I've done cutting on a lot of these. Let's see if I have one over here to show you. Not that one. So here's an interesting one here. Okay, so let's check this one out. So, see how they're barely able to fit them in there because they're just so, they're so huge. But that, those two came out good because of the way they were placed inside the image. Let's see what this looks like real quick. Yeah, so you get the idea. You have to kind of manipulate, create. I use, I have scissors ready to go if I have to cut them to make them fit. These are already done. I've done these, all these guys over here already. So then what you do is you, when you're ready to scan them up to your computer, you go back to the menu, go over to, to uh, USB upload, press OK, and then it's going to go. But I don't have it hooked up to my computer right now, so we can't do that. So let's see, what, else, what other questions can I add to this? I think that's about it. It's a great little unit, and Amazon is where I got it. And so, good luck. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. Take care.